Have you been wanting to start a handmade business, but you're too scared to even get started? I can totally relate. Stay tuned and I'll tell you how I overcame my fear and started my handmade shop. If this is your first time here, my name's Cassie and I built a full-time handmade business and I love sharing tips and tricks for other people to turn their crafts into cash too. So the biggest fear that I had starting my handmade business was what will people think of me? If I'm marketing my products online and they see my stuff, what will they think? Will they think I'm being pushy? Will they think I'm being salesy? Will they think my business isn't good enough, that I'm not successful enough? All of these things going through my head, but I just did it anyway, and I didn't really share it with people. I didn't really uh, market on Facebook, which was the only social media that I was really using at that time. And really, who cares what they think of you? Who cares what anyone thinks of you? This is your business, your life. The next fear I had was not being good enough. I would look at other shops and I would see how awesome they were. And I thought like, there's no way I will ever be able to be that good. And I'm not saying my shop is perfect now because it's definitely not. I mean, it's always a journey and you're always improving. So the thing to remember, though, is when you're looking at some of these shops that look so amazing, that's the middle of their journey. And you're at the beginning of your journey. Everyone starts messy. So you can't compare your beginning to somebody else's middle. So keep that in mind that you are good enough to start your shop and just get started and keep learning and you'll learn and learn and learn and your shop will improve with every bit of information that you learn. The next fear that I had was that my products weren't good enough. And the only way to know this is if you just try to sell them. Like you're never going to know if they're good enough if you don't put them out there. And my first products were completely different from what they're like now because I had to learn my process. So, you know, I put my products out there. I sold a couple of sets and then uh, I sell placemats just in case you didn't know that. And so I sold a couple of sets of placemats and with those couple of sets, then I learned different products that I could use to make them better and just faster, easier ways to make them. And so my products just improved as time went on. So just, you have to get started. You have to put your stuff out there in order to overcome that fear. And once you make your first sale, that's going to validate you and make you realize that you can sell this stuff and that it is good. And if your stuff doesn't sell, you can always make something different. Like you don't have to be stuck on one thing. If it's not the right product and it doesn't sell, then try something else. The next thing was that I was super worried because I didn't know what I was doing. I was trying to learn stuff online, but I just felt like I don't even know where to begin. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I gonna mess it up? And the thing is, you can't mess it up because you'll learn from your experience. So if you do something and it doesn't work, then you know that doesn't work and you move on to the next thing. So just, again, get started. You have to get started and and just take it step by step. Don't be overwhelmed by the fact that you don't know what you're doing or you don't know all of the steps to do. Just 
take one step at a time and it'll be a lot simpler and learn as you go. Be willing to tweak things. Don't get stuck in the mindset that this is the only one way to do something. Be open to change. And the mother of all fears is what if I fail? That's like the big one that all of these other fears feed into. And what if you do fail? What would be the worst thing that could happen if you fail? And would that really be so, so bad? And then what if you don't fail? What if you succeed? What would be the best thing that could happen? I know for me, I felt so proud when I started figuring this all out for myself. So proud when I started making sales. And that just can't even be replaced. So the biggest thing I can say to you is you have to just punch fear in the face and do it. Just get started. What if this ended up being the best thing that ever happened to you? And if you don't even try, you'll never know. And you're going to miss out on that whole opportunity and all the joy that it could bring you. So just get started. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.